Eraser Aphasia is so funny and absolutely so far my favourite Peanuts Motion Comics episode. This is the first part of the third episode and I will in a moment say what Eraser Aphasia is but for now I won't say because when I saw the title of this I thought first of all how do I pronounce that and second of all what is it and I, I googled it and this episode came up. And then when the explanation is revealed, I kind of thought, well, okay, that's definitely not a real word. And also when the explanation was given, it seems really obvious. And I'm surprised I didn't work that out first. So I'd love to know if you watch this, did you work out what eraser aphasia means or not? I'm hoping you didn't. And it's not really obvious. But it starts off with Charlie Brown feeding Snoopy. Snoopy is in and out of this episode a little bit. Not the biggest fan of Snoopy, I've mentioned before, but I, I certainly don't mind him in this episode. And then Charlie gets a... I can't say Charlie. I have to say Charlie Brown. I have to, I don't know why. It just sounds weird saying Charlie. Charlie Brown gets a phone call from the doctor and then there's reference to a previous episode where he had a sore arm, which I liked, a nice bit of continuity there. And the doctor tells him that there was another scan and he has a razor aphasia. And the episode is about that. So I guess I'll have to explain in a moment, actually. I'll sum up everything, all of my thoughts, spoiler free, and then I'll tell you what a razor aphasia is. Very well animated. The pacing is really great. Very, very funny. As I said, I really enjoyed it. And the way Charlie Brown responded to this, I thought was very believable. And the way Lucy responded was very amusing. Really liked this episode. Definitely had a lot of fun with it. Considering it's only three minutes, it's three of the most delightful Peanuts minutes ever. Well, maybe two of the most delightful. We do spend a minute or so setting things up. So, a razor aphasia. I will now tell you <laughs> what it is. It is a condi also, don't go on IMDb. I've got the IMDb page up and I've just realised it tells you on there what it is. So don't go on IMDb before watching this. Or indeed, don't listen to me before watching it. But I will now say what a razor aphasia is. And it is a condition from nibbling on a razors. And Charlie Brown has bits of a razor in his stomach. <laughs> and it's so obvious Phasia refers to consuming, eating, and a razor is obviously a razor, but my brain didn't read it like that. And had I paid attention, it would have made perfect sense. But I'm kind of glad I didn't work it out beforehand, even though it is blatantly obvious once you know, is that moment when Charlie Brown was on the phone was so delightful because I didn't expect it. And I really enjoyed that. As far as I can tell, a razor aphasia has never entered the dictionary, but I kind of hope it does because nibbling on a razors is delicious. Just look at every child's school pencil. I think every one of us has nibbled on an eraser before and there must be a term for it. I googled it and there is a blank PubMed article. There's not even an article or an abstract, but from 1963. The title is A Razor Aphasia and it's written or supposedly written by J.L. Curry and W.J. Howland but there is no abstract, there is no actual body of the article so maybe the term once upon a time was going to mean something, I don't know but either way I'm fascinated, I am deeply shamed that I didn't work it out because it is so obvious I just didn't read the eraser part as a razor if that makes sense, when I read the title, my brain didn't go, oh, a razor phagia. I think the O threw me off. It's an excuse and I'm sticking with it. Either way, I really, really thoroughly enjoyed a razor phagia. It's a brilliant Peanuts Motion Comics episode.